Quilters. Welcome to AccuQuilt Live. I'm Pam Heller, AccuQuilt's cutting expert. Thanks so much for joining us today. Emily's in the house. How are you, my friend? I'm great. Glad it's not hailing anymore. Oh my goodness. Okay, so ne last night in Nebraska, we had pouring down rain, torrential downpours. Like hail and yeah. downpours and flooding. And it was just crazy. Bananas. Um, I picked up Oakley to take her home and we drove through downtown Omaha. There was so much hail, it looked like it snowed. Oh my gosh. It was crazy. crazy. So we're glad that it's just a normal <laughs> Wednesday now. All right, where is everyone watching from? Okay, Bonnie, who won our die yesterday. She is. Is watching from a quilt retreat. Hi, Bonnie. Yeah, keep an eye on your email, Bonnie. I sent you a message. Oh, <laughs> Emily's going to send you your die. Woohoo! And good on you to like be watching from a quilt retreat. So cool. All right, let's take a look at some of the new projects in our countdown video. Um, Ariel C. sent us this quilt that she made using the Starry Path die. Look at this, Emily. Oh, how pretty. Isn't that pretty? And then she used her cube I to make the offset that. blocks. Those I colors are actually blue and gold were my high school colors. Blue and gold were my high school colors. I love that. Yeah, I feel like 90% of the country, right? <laughs> yes. Next, Shannon M. shared this beautiful rose <gasps> flower project with her. So <sighs> she basically like pixelated that rose and then used her cube. Amazing. Um, to make that rose. I think it's beautiful. That's so genius. All right, check out the super cool flamingo oven mitt. Wendy, I hope you made like 10 of them. Well done, Wendy. Is, is that not hilarious? Obsessed. With the flamingo fabric in the background. Oh, it's genius. It's okay, just... I have to say, the minute we launched the flamingo dye, it became one of my favorites. Absolutely, yeah. it's such a happy dye. Yeah, it's terrific. <laughs> All right, Quilters, today's show is all about the new Go Deer Head Dye. Think about using it to embellish projects for Father's Day or plan ahead for fall or winter quilts. And since Father's Day is coming up pretty darn soon, here is the photo of the day. Um, this is my dad from 30 years ago, and he is not famous, Brock. Brock thought he was a famous person, and it's not. Um, so this is my dad, and he and his, his crew watch every Wednesday um, from St. George, Utah. So hey, Dad, how are you? Uh, we call him Papa at our house. Aww. Okay. So here is the question of the day. Do you have a Father's Day tradition? Mm -hmm. So we asked the team, um, Justin, it is his first Father's Day. Mm -hmm. He's super excited about being honored. And Joe, he's been a father for a hot minute, and he just likes the fact that he can do whatever he wants to do, which I think <laughs> is great. Emily, do you have a Father's Day tradition? Yeah, I always get me and my dad's uh, College World Series tickets, and we go to a game together. I love that. Really fun, yeah. I love that. Um, when we lived close to my dad, um, we would always go to brunch, which Aww. he is all about that. I'm, so absolutely. in the comment section today, we would love to hear your Father's Day traditions. Yes, please. Today is all about a pillow project that you'll need, and you're going to need the Go Mix and Match 10 inch cube. And we're going to open one up and take a quick look inside. But before we do, so here at the AccuQuilt team, there's our pillow. It's called something Haven. There we Hideaway go. Haven. There we go. Hideaway <laughs> Haven. Um, our good friend Terry Van de Bosch created that. So um, we have our team here in the Dream Studio, and then we have a team off site that helps us with our Wednesday shows and Tuesday shows. But Katie, the amazing Katie, is actually in the office. So come quick. Come. She's going to come and see. You all want to know what Katie looks like. This is Katie. Yay. Yay. Okay, so everybody <laughs> keeps saying you have antlers, so I've got to. I'm not as tall as oh, you, but I've got to make sure I've got antlers too. Sweet. <laughs> oh, I'm totally standing right there. <laughs> Do the it whole just show. Right. The whole show. I'm just going to stand right here. <laughs> this is Katie. She's part of our team. We're glad that she's in the house today. She is cleaning. So I am glad that I am not part of Katie's team today. All right. So let's open up a 10 inch cube and see what's inside. All right, remember quilters, we have seven sizes of cubes starting at four inches. So four, five, six, eight, nine, 10, and 12. They have the same eight shapes. Um, they just come in different sizes. Combined together, they make at least 72 mix and match patterns. And keep in mind that those patterns are free downloadable patterns from AccuQuilt.com. I was reading in some comments um, from one of our shows recently where someone said, how can I find patterns using the cubes? 
uh, go to the AccuQuilt website. We have lots and lots of them. All right, so we're gonna open it up here. And this is kind of cool. We don't often open like a 10 or a 12 inch cube. So it actually comes with two different sizes of dies, six by six and 10 by 10. And the best news is that it also comes with two different sizes of mats. So when you get the cube system, you don't need any other mats. That's so nice, right? you're ready to go. I know, right? You're just all ready to go. So I'm gonna put the big one out first. I'm gonna move it all over here. So the skinny one first is the one you wanna pull out first. Inside there is a cutting mat. In this case, there's a 10 by 10 mat in it and a pattern book. We have tons of videos on YouTube and Facebook to show you how to use the cube system. So if you're not familiar, um, you can check those out. So pull the skinny one first so you don't break a nail. And this one is kind of in a different order. Uh, we're gonna go from large to small. So remember the cube system is based on a four patch system. Shape number one in every cube is a square. Four of them sewn together in this case makes a 10 inch block. Don't think in your quilting head, oh, I'm getting a 10 inch cube, it's gonna make it, it's gonna cut 10 inch blocks. There's some sewing involved, okay? And we're gonna pull out shape three, which is what we need from our project. It is half square triangles, and we've cut off the dog ears, and from this point here to this point here is that perfect quarter inch seam, okay? And then shape number four in here is quarter square triangles. So we're gonna fold this back up. And then the last two in this um, uh, set are the parallelograms, which is shape number seven. And again, these are on the 10 by 10 die board, so you need a 10 by 10 mat. This is what we call a directional shape. So check your pattern to see which size or how you need to lay your fabric. And then shape number eight are rectangles, there are actually two on the die board. So keep that in mind. All right, and then we're gonna open up the little one. So inside here, there's also a pattern book and an additional mat, right? So you need a six by six mat for the smaller dies. Shape number two are smaller squares. So remember, big squares, little squares in every cube. Shape number five is the other die we need for today. So this is a small half square triangle. So big squares, little squares, big half square triangles, small half square triangles. And shape number six in every cube is what we call a square on point. Um, it's meant to live on its tippy toes. And the shape you're gonna add around it to make the block square and square is shape number five, okay? Now this is the 10 inch cube. So just a couple of weeks ago, we released the five inch cube and the five inch cube can make 10 inch blocks. So maybe think of how you wanna change it up a little bit. Maybe you don't wanna make a pillow. Maybe you wanna make a table runner. You could use the five inch cube and the 10 inch cube together to make blocks that are the same size. So fun. All right, quilters, transparency is one of our key values here at AccuQuilt. Our company is facing increases in fuel cost and raw material sourcing for all of our products, which we had hoped would be temporary. However, it is here to stay. With that said, there will be product price increases starting next month on July 1st, so that we at AccuQuilt can continue offering you, our customers and viewers, the best quality products. So be sure to take advantage of all our promotions and bundles and deals this month. And speaking of bundles, we put together some special bundles so you can pick up this great new die to try and start on your next project as soon as possible. One of those bundles is the Go Deer Head with a cutting mat bundle. Look how fun that is. Plus, you'll receive free shipping if you live in the contiguous US when your order reaches $100 or more, and you'll get double reward points when you place your order today. You can use those reward points towards future AccuQuilt purchases. And today I'm gonna to give away one of our Go Deer Head dies. Be sure to register for future events on the um, events page at AccuQuilt.com. 
by registering your receive event emails and that way you'll never miss an exciting tutorial. And the amazing Emily is going to announce the winner of our registry viewer at the end of the show. Oh boy, oh boy. All right, so before we look at the deer head dive, let's look at some of our comments. What do people have Father's Day traditions happening? Absolutely. I love this one. So um, Kathy was saying, or excuse me, um, Michelle was saying she used to sneak beer into the nursing home where her dad lived, and he loved it. Good job. I love that tradition. <laughs> there you go. Um, there you go. Let's see, and then uh, Miss Lynn used to take his, or takes the dad fishing every year. Oh, fishing, so fun. Is, fishing is a great one. And Jane, kind of like Joe, treats treats hubby to wherever he wants to go to eat, whatever he wants yeah. to do. It's Ray just kind of gets to do whatever he wants to do. <laughs> yeah, there's no rules. You can just do what you want to do, it'll be great. All right, so let's look at the deer head die. Um, it is on a six by 12 die board, so it will fit through all of our cutters, including that Go Me. Sure will. You will need a six by 12 cutting mat. And since this is an applique shape, you can find uh, free embroidery downloads at accuquilt.com. That file contains three stitches, a blanket stitch, a satin stitch, and a motif stitch. So Emily, we talked about this yesterday, mm -hmm. about how difficult it would be to cut this shape by hand, right? I imagine. I mean, I just can't even imagine trying to get the antlers and trying to get it, well, yeah. equal, yeah. right? Yeah, I mean, that's I feel symmetry, like that's, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So um, what you wanna do is you wanna pre-fuse your fabric before you um, cut your shape, okay? And we have a variety of fusible products as well as irons and stabilizer on our website. Um, so put some in your cart before you check out. That will help you reach that $100 benchmark, right? So you can get it free. Yeah, that's okay. I have a really hot iron here. There we go. I just and got I'm gonna grab my fabric that we're gonna cut with. Emily, you wanna read? what people are doing Absolutely. with their dads. Absolutely, yeah, Noreen uh, makes his favorite meal, galus galuskis and mashed potatoes. I've never heard of a galuski before. I've never heard of a galuski. I'm gonna need the recipe for that one, Noreen. Well, I feel like you're gonna have to tell us what that is. I think so too, that sounds right? really interesting though. All right. Let's see, oh, Martha celebrates her father-in-law's birthday is a few days uh, apart from Father's Day, so they do both at the same time. Oh my gosh, he's turning 97 this year, Pam. Congratulations, that's exciting. Wow, happy birthday, that is exciting. All right, I am going to show you how to pre-fuse fabric. Mm -hmm. We get this question all the time, do we not on oh Wednesdays and Tuesdays? All the time. Okay, so first of all, I'm gonna move this up here. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna measure the shape. Oh, somebody yesterday asked us, right? How big is the finished shape? That's right, they were asking us about that, weren't they? So I'm gonna tell you the finished shape is five and a half by six and a half inches, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some, um, like a quarter of an inch around the whole shape. So I'm gonna cut I'm gonna cut like six by seven, mm -hmm. okay? Okay, that's what okay. I'm gonna do. And we have these super cool rulers here. I'm really excited about it. I know, we've got so many fun bundles now with those rulers we have too. so many fun things to cut <laughs> with now. <laughs> okay, so I have my fabric that I'm gonna cut my deer head out of, right? Mm -hmm. Now this is one of the different kinds of fusible that we have on our website. And um, we have just so many fun ones. And it just comes in rolls like this. Right here, the dull side, it's hard to tell on the camera, but the dull side has this sticky um, backing to it. Okay. This is the shiny side, oh, okay? Sure. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna just cut me a little piece that's like, I don't know, five and a half by six and a half. Here, yeah. I gotta do it this way so I know. Something like okay. that. Yeah, I'm just gonna go like to seven inches. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay, and we have rotary cutters and rulers and mats and all the fun things. I've on our been website. using the mini shovel iron with that wool mat, and it has been a game changer for me. Oh, absolutely. With pressing, it's just it's been unbelievable. Okay, so see, look, my fusible is bigger than my shape, mm -hmm. which is what we want. Okay, I'm gonna move all of my tools out of here. And I know that for some of you, you know how to 
pre-fuse your fabric already, but we really do get this question a lot. Absolutely. Now, you would want to put it on the back side of your fabric. With batiks, it's a little harder to find that back side. It is, Okay. It? So the wrong side is what they call it. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna come right here. Now, this is the paper side, it's nice, okay, and shiny. Here's that sticky side. Here's my big tip. Do not touch your iron to the sticky side. What happens, Emily? Oh, I bet it would just stick all over the place, Sticks wouldn't it? your iron. <laughs> oh, no. And it makes you cry, okay? So I'm just gonna go back and forth. I have a really hot iron, I have no steam. Okay, and I'm just gonna make sure that it's stuck, okay? Now, I'm not gonna cut this down because it can just go through the cutter. Make sure I got that corner there, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, so that is how you fuse fabric, all right? If you did not learn how to do that before today, then ta-da, we're gonna help you out. I think we need an easy button that says that was easy. That was easy. <laughs> yes. Indeed it was. Okay. All right. So here we go. So now that we've pre-fused our fabric, we can only cut four layers. Normally we can cut six layers of cotton. Okay. So now I'm just going to lay my deer head right over the shape. Ooh, Pam, we have, we have the Galuski's definition. We know what they are now. Okay. Okay, so it's... It, okay, it doesn't matter what the question of the day is. It always goes back to food. We always talk about food. Always. always. Okay, tell us what it is before I cut this. It's a German meal. It's cabbage rolls. Mix rice and hamburger together, roll a cabbage leaf around it, and put it in a crock pot with diced tomatoes or sauerkraut on top. Okay, so here in Nebraska, we have Renza, and the original Renza sandwich is very much like that. That sounds like a lot, yeah. Is that right? It's like a German Renza. Yeah. Yum. I don't know. They're like, yeah, sure, whatever. <laughs> okay, I put a mat on top of my deer head. I'm getting no help here from the studio. <laughs> All right, so we're using our Go Fabric Cutter today. We want to kind of showcase it. Uh, for you today because we have a special Emily do you want to tell us we sure do yeah we have that code cut 100 for a hundred dollars off the go and the ready set go which in that ready set go is going to have the go cutter the eight inch cube the two and a half inch strip die uh, the mat to go along with it it's it's got the die pick it's literally got everything you need I have it personally Booked by myself. Eleanor it's fabulous yeah it really really is and yeah with that hundred dollar savings it's a perfect time you know right before that price increase it's like Yep. Now's the time. <laughs> okay, so now I've cut my deer head. And now this is crucial information. See <laughs> these extra pieces of pre-fused fabric? I am not going to throw these away. Because yesterday we showed you this really cool thing. How we took all of our scraps and created new fabric with them. Yeah, that was and was that amazing, Emily, to see? Because she had never seen that before. It was so innovative. And it's like, mm -hmm. like you said, it's creating a whole new fabric. It's textile right. making. So <laughs> I could totally use all these scraps and sew them together, you know, press them on. Um, we just put it on a piece of fabric to do that. But maybe in the fall, I'm making a project using the fall medley. So I need leaves or acorns or something. Then I already have fabric that is pre-fused because what you can't do is take off the fusible and use it like regular cotton. Gotcha. Okay. All right, and you can cut other fabrics out of this, not just cotton. We cut one out of felt yesterday. You can cut craft foam with them. Um, just think about all the different fabrics, okay? All right, so we've cut our deer head. Look at us just moving right along. <laughs> Be sure to join the lovely Eric and I on Tuesday, June 14th at 12 noon Central Time for a special trunk show series as we celebrate covering the world one quilt at a time. Be sure and register in the link for the chance to win prizes. The lovely Eric is currently in Florida on vacation. She has already called me twice from a quilt shop getting me fabric. That is the sign of a good friend. <laughs> okay, so now let's take our shapes from the 10 inch cube to make our block. Oh, we should show you our block. Oh, look at this. Oh, wow. Isn't this great? Our good friend Terry Vandenbosch designed this, okay? And look, 
We totally <laughs> think you should use our emoji dye. Oh my gosh. On our deer head. There's a bundle, right? I was going to just, dye? yeah, we do. We still have the emojis crazy bundle with the emojis dye, three different circle dyes and the cutting mat. It's on sale for $199.99 right now. I love it. Scoop it up. Scoop it up. <laughs> Scoop it up, make your deers with emojis, <laughs> with sunnies on them. Exactly. Okay, so the first sunnies. shape we're gonna cut is um, the small half square triangles. Mm -hmm. So what I've done is I've measured from here to here, added a quarter of an inch on either side and rough cut with the fabric because you wanna cut through the cutter on that lengthwise green, sure. okay? And here is my pro tip. I am going to, um, sew my half square triangles together. So I am actually going to cut them together, okay? All right, Perfect. and there we go. I'm gonna do this the right way. Ooh, we have a question about um, fusible, Pam. Oh, talk to us about fusible. What is the difference between a fusible and stabilizer? You bet. Stabilizer, here, oh, here. We're gonna talk about these in a minute but we'll talk about it now. Mm -hmm. Our good friends from V-Stitch made these um, applique shapes, okay? So fusible is what we added to the back of the deer head so that it can sit in a block. Mm -hmm. Stabilizer is what you have to put on the back of your fabric. Right here you can see stabilizer uh -huh. so that you can embroider the stitches around it, oh. then add the applique shape and then it can embroider some more. Okay. okay. So stabilizer is what you need if you, we'll come back and talk about these. Stabilizer is what you need if you want to use an embroidery machine. Sure, okay. okay? So. All right, so I've put my green and my beige fabrics together. Okay, I can always cut six layers. So I'm just gonna do what we call fan folding, which means I've just taken that fabric back and forth now, here's what I'm gonna do, quilters. There are no blades in our cutters, so I'm just gonna fold this up here. I'm gonna get me a six by six cutting mat. Okay. Perfect. Now, our Go Fabric cutter, it can cut both directions. So before I cut this direction, so now I'm gonna cut this direction. Perfect. I know. Okay. All right, so Emily, while I'm cutting, tell us what people's Father's Day traditions are. Absolutely. Well, and this is a fun comment from Miss Jackie. She says that, so when you mentioned that Erica was getting you fabric, yes. she says that her stepson is going to the Moroccan market this week and bringing her fabric from Morocco. Oh. Okay, you win. Oh my gosh, could you imagine what that's no, going to look I, like? He totally should bring us all fabric from Morocco. Jackie, I hope you will post pictures of those in the yes. next uh, feed so we can see, because that's, yeah. that's gonna be stunning. That's amazing. Okay, so now I've cut my half square triangles. I put right sides together, and now I can just stitch these together, which we will do in just a brief moment. Awesome. Next, we're gonna cut, oh look, there was already a six by six mat here, but it just looked better. All right, and now we're gonna do the same thing with these half square triangles measured from here to here. We only need two for our project today, so you know what, it's okay, I'm gonna do this. There we go. Okay. Okay, I'm fascinated with this, Pam. Paula says, have you heard of people using dryer sheets? Oh. Like a stabilizer. Um, I have and I would not recommend it. Here's why, dryer sheets have a film on it and every time you're sewing with your embroidery needle, you're gonna grab that film. Oh, okay. Whereas stabilizer doesn't have that. That makes good sense. Okay, so now we're gonna cut the other direction, okay? We don't often use our little go. I love on the sale go. today, get you one for cut 100. It's so great. So Judy says that she ordered the deer head dye right after yesterday's show. It was already delivered this morning. She says her husband wanted to be aggravated about it, but apparently he likes it too. <laughs> We're glad we can help. I know, <laughs> right? Shout out to our warehouse team for doing that. It's amazing, yeah, what a turnaround time, well done. I like that a lot. All right, quilters, this is a fast, fun weekend project. Truly, you could have cut all of your pieces and sewn them together in the time that Emily and I have been talking. 
so. okay? I mean, that's how fast it is, all right? So we're gonna sew, we're gonna start here, and we're gonna sew the um, cream and the green half square triangles together. I already have two of our blocks made. All right, so we're just gonna sew two of them together. You know how I like to be ahead. Oh, <laughs> hey, I'm gonna show you this trick though. Hang on, hang on. Uh, you wanna press your seams open here. I didn't press my seam open here. I just kind of finger pressed it, okay? And the reason you wanna press it open is so that your block lays flat. Mm -hmm. We talked about pressing last week, didn't we, Emily? We sure did. I know it's been a journey for me. <laughs> but Emily but likes to... to just be done, I think, I, right? I do, I do. I just like right? to be like, it's all together. Let's flatten it. Let's be good. Yeah. Give a little, I don't, I wasn't pressing. I was ironing. She was vigorously. <laughs> and it was not, it was not okay. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna sew two of our um, green and cream half square triangles together. All right, well, I'm, and chain piece for days, right? That's what we like to do. Absolutely. All right, Emily, while we're doing it, tell us what people's Father's Day traditions are. Yes, I love these fun traditions. Okay, so let's see. Annette says, this may sound lame, but because both my husband's and my father's have passed, my tradition is to give a card and from all, they give gifts to their pups. Oh, okay, from, that is very sweet. From the pups to the sweetheart. Okay, so that's very sweet. So it's like- That is not lame at all, that is very I sweet. I think that's adorable. Yes, dog, dog dads and moms are still yes, moms and dads. that still counts. They are, that totally counts. Yep. Um, let's see, uh, Gail's father was a craftsman and would build uh, model airplanes. And so that was their tradition that they would go to uh, outings in forest preserves where he could fly the planes and spend the whole day. They'd even do a picnic. What a day, that would be I think so that is a really fun day. Wow, and what memories they must have made too. Oh my oh, yeah. gosh. I love the thought of going fishing. Me too. I think that's fun. I used to go fishing with my dad. So relaxing. Okay. All right, so now I'm gonna press my seams open because we sewed these half square triangles together perfectly. Yes. Now they're gonna make our little square. Ooh, Tammy's taking her hubby to the Bacon and Beer Festival this year. Oh, there you go. That sounds like a Do heart you like bacon and beer? <laughs> Joe says he's down for that. Yeah. Whatever that is, he's going. He's going? All right. Yeah. <laughs> We'll get him there. We'll get him to the bacon and beer fest. <laughs> I love it. I do love a good beer cheese though. Okay, we have talked about beer cheese, I think, on this show. <laughs> okay, now, I don't, it doesn't matter what the question is. It always comes back to food. We really do. Always, always. Now, here's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna put these this direction because we're gonna sew them the same. Mm -hmm. So now we're gonna take our, um, square and we're gonna add half square triangles to it, just like this. And I like to lay out my blocks so I remember like how to sew it together. Absolutely, makes it a lot easier. Yeah. I asked Taylor what he wanted for Father's Day and he said sleep. <laughs> <laughs> so I feel like that's a good thing. Okay, so now I'm just gonna take them right to my machine and I'm gonna stitch and sew the half square triangles to our square. Love that. Okay. All right, does anybody have questions? I mean, I know we talk about beer and cheese. Yeah. Does anybody have questions? Let's see, so, oh, well, well Janice wanted, was clarifying as well. So if you're using, um, we were, when we were talking about the stabilizer, yes. um, so she's asking, so you wouldn't necessarily need stabilizer if you hand stitch the applique down? That is exactly right. Perfect, perfect. You would need fusible, Yes. To stitch it down, to keep it in place. And then you only need stabilizer if you're going to use an embroidery machine. Mm. So like if you're gonna do rayage quilting, which is one of my favorite things to do. I never use stabilizer for rayage quilting. Oh. Okay. That's so cool. Let's see, ooh, I love this question. We get this one. So Rhonda asks, if we, are, if we recommend a first cube set, Oh, so Which Emily, that's a great do? question. So what cube set would you recommend? Oh gosh, okay, so I'm, I go back and forth because 
I have the eight inch cube myself. Yes, because you have the ready, set, go. Exactly, and I love my ready, set, go. I've honestly been thinking about either the four or the five just because not only does the four work with like the eight and the 12, if I'm remembering that correct. Yes, you're exactly right. It will, um, it's, I love those, those tiny pieces. Like, you know, and you can, I'm, I'm more of like a, a day project or a weekend project. And so I love like the table runners that you can do and like right. the mini quilts and the pillows. And okay. I'm just obsessed with the four and the five right now. That's fair. Are you going, do you have a favorite at the moment? Um, so it's so funny that you asked that. Hang on one second. We're going to tell you how to finish this block. <laughs> okay, so now I've sewn uh, one of the half square triangles, mm -hmm. right? And now I'm going to sew the others. Perfect. And again, uh, we've cut out the dog ears so you know where that quarter inch seam allowance is. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm actually, <laughs> the lovely Erica made me buy fabric. <laughs> it's not true, but we're, we're blaming her. Um, I bought some fabric last week that was celebrating um, the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. Because I have been to London many times and I love London. So I bought this fabric, which is fabulous. Mm -hmm. And um, I asked people what dye they thought I should use. Mm -hmm. And there were lots of really great suggestions. One lady said, because I talk about the Crossroads dye all the time and how it looks like the London tube, Oh, you know, yeah. that I should use that. But the fabric has some big prints on it that I don't want to lose. And I feel like that Crossroads dye, I'm going to lose that. Sure. So I am actually going to use the Churn Dash dye. Ooh. And I'm going to use the 12 inch Churn Dash, which is a three by three grid. So it's going to make an 18 inch block. Ooh. But I'm going to use the four inch cube and the scraps from my pieces to make the center six inch block. Ooh, that's gonna be fun. I know, if you don't, you should follow me on Facebook. It's AccuQuilt Educator Pam Heller, because I'm gonna post my process. And I am really excited about that. <laughs> that's gonna be so much fun to see. Oh, I can't wait to follow along. And I told Erica it was all her fault because she made me buy fabric, so. <laughs> That's all right. All right, so look, we're pressing our seams open. Look how flat it's going to lay, okay? That's what you want. And Miss Deborah is is asking if she if you always press the seams open. I, I feel like 99.9% .9 of the time you do. Um, you know what? Okay, here's kind of the rule. Mm -hmm. If I'm just sewing two half square triangles together, one is green and one is cream, I'm gonna press to the dark side. But if I have a block like this that has lots of seams and lots of shapes, I'm gonna press it open so it lays flat. All of our patterns tell you, hey, press to the dark side or hey, press to the, press them open. Yeah. Okay, so that's kind of a good rule of thumb. Um, the Miss Gibney, she presses all of her seams open. I get kind of lazy. I get kind of lazy because it takes so long to press them open. Yes. But like when I'm doing the churn dash block, for sure I'm gonna press to the dark side because then my rows will nest. So it really just depends. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's what I do love about our patterns though. They're so nice and clear and they make yeah. it easy for you. Yeah. So we get this question all the time, is the AccuQuilt system only for quilters? No. You can be a crafter and a fiber artist because remember you can cut tons of different fabrics. You can cut leather, you can cut felt, you can cut um, sticky back vinyl. We talked about that in our show yesterday. So it's a great system to get you started, but no, you can be any kind of artist and use our system. All right, quilters, we have fantastic bundle deals for you today. For quilters who love embroidering their quilts with fun designs, the Go Deerhead Medley Bundle is perfect for you. And we're also offering $100 off the uh, fabric cutter, the Go Fabric Cutter and the Ready, Set, Go with the code CUT100. And it's a great time to get started with our AccuQuilt system or to upgrade from a GoMe. Mm -hmm. All right, so that bundle had the uh, Northwoods Medley in it, which is one of my favorite dyes. It's a great dye. Plus you'll receive free shipping if you live in the contiguous US when your order reaches $100 or more. And you'll get double reward points when you place your order today. You can use those reward points towards future AccuQuilt purchases. Today I'm going to give away one of our Go Deer Head dies. Be sure and register for future events 
on our event page for the chance to win, okay? Now, before I show you how to sew this together, can we look at the quote behind Miss Emily? Thank you, Justin. Um, okay, so this is one that Marianne Fontana made. It's a free pattern at AccuQuilt.com, and it uses our new squares. We have different sizes of new squares, and it uses that great Northwoods medley die. And look at how fun this is. This is the one I want to make for fall. Absolutely, it'd be right? so Do cuddly not think? and cozy. And we talked about it was so cozy, right? It really is, yeah. yeah. I kind of want to see it in like some flannels or something like that. Yeah. Good oh. job, Marianne. Well done. It's beautiful. Okay, so that bundle that has the Northwoods medley and the deer head dye, you could totally make that. It okay. sure is, yeah. That's on sale right now for $153.99. There you go. It's a great price. And it will ship free if you live in the contiguous US. It sure will. Okay, now I'm gonna show you a tip. Here's my little trick. Um, we're going to sew the cream half square triangle to our green block unit right here, okay? So these are going to match up perfectly. Gosh, I so love it when it works, right? Okay, look how perfect this is. But my tip is that you want to sew it from this side. And Emily, any idea why I want to sew it from that side? Probably so that you can kind of see that, um, the point, right, as yes. it's, as you're going? Yes. yes, that's exactly right. Look at you getting <laughs> things right. Woohoo! Hey, Woohoo! it's a banner day. Occasionally it happens. <laughs> it's a banner day. It is. All right, all right, so we're going to put right sides together and sew these. And don't forget, all of our videos live on our YouTube and Facebook pages, so you can go back and watch them if you want. All right, Emily, while I'm sewing, tell us what Father Day traditions, Father's Day traditions we have. Absolutely, and, and we have a quick question too. Do you know, okay. can you tell which side of the triangle is biased? I know, right? Sure, I can. Well, I sure couldn't. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad you can. <laughs> Job security here. I know where the bias is, edge is. Okay. Exactly. This is our small half square triangle. Oh, I got little pieces on it. Okay. This is the label. Label at your belly. Lengthwise green, right? So if I put my piece back here, okay, this right here is going to be nice and tight. Look at that. Uh -huh. That's the lengthwise green. But look, this Look at all that stretch. So stretchy. That's the bias edge. So that's why when you cut with our dies, you want to cut on that lengthwise green because when I sew these pieces together, well, I would sew a green one together. Right, right. Then it's going to stabilize that inside seam where the bias edge is. If when you're cutting quarter square triangles, mm -hmm. this is what happens sometimes. Oh, I don't know why, but it does, okay? Oh, here, I'm gonna use different colors because I can. Look at this. Hold on here. Hold, please. Okay. <laughs> All right. Sometimes quilters take our half square triangles mm -hmm. and make them into quarter square triangles. Okay. But now where's the bias? Oh, it's on the wrong side. It's on the wrong side. It's on the outside edge. Oh, my goodness. So then when you're sewing it together, your block is going to be all sorts of wonky because no. you have not have that um, lengthwise green inside your block. So two things, label it your belly lengthwise green, but do not use half square triangles as quarter square triangles. There's a die for that. Mm -hmm. That is so interesting. I never, you know, I knew the rule of the lengthwise grain, but I never really knew the why behind it. See, this is why we have Wednesday. I love the I love why the Why Wednesdays. Exactly, the why we Wednesdays. Change the name. We should. That's okay, so now I'm going to go back and sew this. Emily, you want to talk about our blog while I sew? That was well, a great question, whoever asked that it question. It really, really was. Yeah, we've got a fantastic blog. So our blog has exclusive patterns that our go-getters and AccuQuilt staff write for us. Um, they are only found on that blog, so um, it's a great place to get you know new tips, inspiration. Um, they are so creative. They so are. The projects that they come up with are just unbelievable. So if you're you know looking for something really new and fun, and um, they're great reads too. 
you know, they're they just very, very easy and they're a quick read and so yeah, it's a yeah, great And you should sign out. up to get notified, right? Because I get notification that says the AccuQuote blog is live. Absolutely, yes. It says that in my head. It just says it on my <laughs> phone that it's live. But in my head, I think that that's what it says. Absolutely. All right, so now, because I sewed on the top, look, my point is perfect. Oh, beautiful. That's a really great tip. The same like if you're cutting or sewing flying geese together. Yeah. You know, anytime you have that little point that you want to make sure is perfect, mm -hmm. um, just sew the other shape just underneath, right? You know, just put it on top. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wow. That is genius. Okay. All right. What other people, what are people doing for Father's Day? Yes. Okay. So Linda and would go to Chinese dinner because that was dad's favorite. That sounds great. Love that. Okay. Um, let's see. Okay, so Theda, so they, um, her dad lives in another state, so they always go, so they visit and go fishing together. Oh, how fun. Love that so much. When my kids were little, um, my dad lives, lived in Arkansas. He lived, you know, we lived here in Omaha. Mm -hmm. And on Sunday afternoons, um, they would all get on their Wii's and they would golf. Oh, cool. We, we golf on Sunday afternoons with my dad. That's the only kind of golf I can do, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, amen. <laughs> amen. All right. All right, so now I'm going to, I've made my four little um, squares, right? Mm -hmm. And now I'm going to sew them together. And again, you could have made this entire project in the time that Emily and I have been chatting about food and golf. Absolutely. Okay. 100%. Right. Here we go. All right. Do we have any more questions, Emily? Yes. Well, they are wondering if our rulers are non-slip, and I believe they are. They, they do not have those little sticky things on the back, but you can add those sticky things to the back. Mm -hmm. You just need a variety of sizes of rulers. <laughs> exactly. Let's see. Um, and here's why. <laughs> I, when we were talking about rulers, I said the thing that is really hard for me is to get one of those little sticky back ones because as I'm trying to, to position it on fabric, sure. it's moving the fabric because oh. it sticks to it. Oh, wow. Oh, I know. Goodness. I tell you, it's just crazy. Okay. I've got an interesting troubleshooting question. Okay. And... I'm not sure how to answer it for Miss Linda here. She says, when sewing half square triangles, my dog ears are wider than a quarter inch. My seams are always inside of the dog ears. Any ideas? Okay, well, let's get a ruler and measure one, shall we? Okay, hmm. uh, because we cut off the dog ear and from here to here is a perfect quarter inch seam. I was gonna so say maybe- let me get a ruler. Could it be that the fabric is is maybe laid out in, you know, well, on the... Well, so my first question is, <laughs> I do love that. Um, yeah, so there's that perfect quarter inch seam. So my first question is, are you cutting it on the lengthwise grain? Because yeah. I'm worried that as you're cutting it, maybe it's stretching or it's not sewing together. But yes, you want to stitch from here to here and it's going to make that quarter inch seam. Mm. That's so beautiful. It's a sight to behold. <laughs> well, yes, and we do love it when it works, right? <laughs> Absolutely. Gosh. All right, so now here's the bottom half of my block. And again, I'm gonna press my seams open here. It's gonna lay nice and flat for me. There's just so many seams, right? Gorgeous. That's why we're gonna lay it flat. Okay. My oh my, I love that little iron. And it looks like it fits in your hand really well too. Yes, it does. It's almost like ergonomic or something. I think the lovely Erica has one of these at her house. That's right, we were we were talking about that. It, it was like the, the big debate of which one, one to get. And you know, between you and Erica, it was it was a toss up because both of you were, had great points for both irons. Yeah, I typically, okay, typically I have my shovel iron because those are perfect for these little seams. And then I give my big iron um, a good press. Yeah. Okay? All right, so now I'm going to sew my block together right here. Okay? And look how everything came together perfectly because we have that quarter inch seam. We did good things. Now I am going to come here, oh, I know you're probably all gonna just be amazed. 
Um, we sell pins on our website and little bindy clips. Yes. Look at our cute little pins. Thanks to Joe for putting those there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come right here mm -hmm. where my two seams meet and I am actually gonna pin it right there. Oh, sure. So that I can make sure that my center seam is perfect right there. Wow. I know, Erica's in Florida, she'll never know. Okay? <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, Emily, do we have more things people are doing with their dads? Absolutely. Well, and this is a fun comment from Mary. She says her grandson loves to help cut using the AccuQuilt. And um, he also likes to pick out material and patterns for grandma to sew for. <laughs> Just that. so much fun. I love that. Oakley does. So did, I don't know if you know this funny story, but um, so Oakley has her own fabric that is not grunge, oh. right? Because she's eight. Right. So she can sew with my fabric that is not, you know, sacred. I <laughs> anyway, she, I, I don't know, about a year ago, um, she was downstairs and she was helping me with something and she discovered that there were totes of fabric that were beautiful. Oh. And she goes, Lola, this is such beautiful fabric. I was like, <laughs> I know. <laughs> so she asked me yesterday, I picked her up in the middle of the storm to take her home. And um, she said, Lola, can I spend the night with you? Mm -hmm. And I said, no, I, gotta, I have to go to the office tomorrow. I have a show tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And she said, I thought you just have homework. Oh, gosh. That That's so sweet. She said, some days I, work, I have homework, but tomorrow I have go to the office work. Right? Uh, oh, I love all that. All right. Look at this. Ta-da. Ta-da. All right. <laughs> Here we go. All right, so now um, we're gonna attach one of our, we're gonna just iron down one of our deer heads to the center of our block. Gorgeous. So we're gonna use the one that we already cut. Okay, so I'm gonna just line it up here. Look how pretty this is. Now, if you were gonna use our embroidery file to make a stitch of it, um, you wanna make sure that you do that before you iron this down. But for this block, I would just do like all over quilting or Raj quilting, okay? Mm. All right, here we go. So much fun. All right, Emily, what are people doing with their dads? Yes, oh, Brennan always cooks a four course meal for dad. Holy smokes, Brennan, don't tell that to my husband. Seriously, that sounds wow. amazing. I'm coming to your house for Father's Day. Yeah. Um, let's see, we would go to Sioux Locks and watch the boats go through. Dad, oh, fun. Dad's a tugboat captain. Oh. He could tell you anything about boats. That's oh, cool. when I was a kid, I grew up in Seattle. I know all about tugboats and boats and the locks. Okay, so here we go. So we're gonna use our iron and we're gonna press it down. There we go. So nice and easy. I know, and speaking of homework, um, a couple of people have asked if during, um, if AccuQuilt is open for tours. Mm. You know, back in the day we would give tours. And the answer is no, we are not open to the general public currently. And uh, for a couple of reasons. First of all, there was a pandemic and we wanted to make sure our staff was safe. But a majority of our staff work remotely. And so really there is no one here to give you a tour. Uh, our live stream team is here just a few hours a day um, on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, and then our warehouse team are pretty much secure in the back. And we really do try to stay safe so that everybody is staying healthy. Mm -hmm. um, Absolutely. So, yeah, so if you're coming through the Omaha area this summer and you think, oh, I'd love to stop by AccuQuilt and have a tour, we are currently closed, okay? All right, so look at my block. Ta-da! <laughs> Now you will need a total of four of these blocks, which truly you could have made in the last 45 minutes mm -hmm. um, for your pillow. And you need to cut and sew border strips around the blocks using our two and a half inch strip die. And then what you wanna do is you wanna layer batting between the pillow top and the muslin square and then pinner base together and quilt as desired. Terry wrote amazing pillow and assembly instructions in the pattern. So make sure you follow those and be sure to finish your, uh, share your finished pillows with us on our social media pages. And think outside the box. Maybe you don't wanna make a pillow. Maybe you wanna make a table runner. So you could just totally take your blocks and make four or five or six of them and make a fun little table runner. Um, it would be great for Father's Day aprons. Uh, Lynn showed ours yesterday. Joe is the model on those if you see it on the website. 
um, think about gift bags. Maybe you have a lake house or a cabin. If you do, our entire team would like to come visit you and make some <laughs> towels for that lake house or cabin. Or think about placemats. Wouldn't that be fun for a lake house That'd or a cabin? So cute, absolutely. Lots of great ideas mm. using this dye. So nice. All right, be sure and join me and Erica on Tuesday, June 14th at 12 noon Central Time for a special trunk show series called um, As We Celebrate Covering the World One Quilt at a Time. That is our Pay It Forward campaign for the 2022 year. Mm -hmm. uh, we partnered with Baby Lock and Moda. Be sure and register in the link for the chance to win prizes. Don't forget we have bundles for you, including the Go Oh Dear Project Die Bundle. It's <laughs> filled with great dies to pair the Go Dear Head with to create different theme projects. It has the um, apron, or apron, it has the oven mitt and the Christmas stocking. So uh, some really great ideas to use different themed projects. Mm -hmm. Don't forget you'll get free shipping if you live in the contiguous US when your order reaches $100 or more. And you'll get double reward points when you place your order today. You can use those reward points towards future AccuQuilt purchases. Um, Emily, there's a sale right now on the 10 inch cube. So if you have the five inch cube and you're thinking which cube would be great to work with it, mm -hmm. the 10 inch cube is great. You wanna talk about it real quick? Yeah, the 10 inch cube um, is $309.99. Um, it is, I just love the 10 inch cube because you, like you said, you can work with the five inch. Yep. Um, you can really expand, you know, your- Makes those nice big blocks. It does. And guess what? We have so many bob dies as well that would work fantastically with the 10 inch cube. Right. So it's just a really great building block within your collection. I think it's great. All right, Emily, will you announce the our winner today? I would love to, Pam. All righty. Today's lucky winner is, drum roll please. Connie W. from Klamath Falls, Oregon. Congratulations. Congratulations. You are going to love it. It's great. Okay, next week, I am so excited about next week. We're going to use our five-inch cube to make a really fun and fast quilt. I So I always make, you know, what we call step outs, like little sample blocks. I've made so many, I think I might already have enough for like the wall <laughs> hanging because I just think it's super cute. So five inch cube next week, we're gonna make a fun and fast quilt. Don't forget to register on events page for the chance to win prizes. All right, team, on behalf of our entire AccuQuilt team. So offset, we have Morgan and Katie, who's filling in for you. Jack. Jack, thank you so much, Jack, for filling in. Katie is in the house, along with Brock and Justin and Joe, and of course the amazing Emily. I am Pam Heller reminding you at AccuQuote, we help you cut time so you can quote more. We'll see you next week.